Have you ever taken a pill to help you sleep, relieve pain, or calm your nerves, and then felt mentally foggy the next day? What if that fog wasn't just temporary? What if, little by little, your memory was being erased, not by age, but by the very medications meant to help you? Today, we're uncovering a shocking truth. 10 common medications that can slowly destroy your memory, increase your risk of dementia, and quietly rob you of your cognitive clarity. This isn't a theory, it's backed by science. And the worst part, you or someone you love may already be taking one or more of these medications without ever knowing the risk. But don't worry, we're going to break it all down. And by the end of this video, you'll not only know which medications to watch out for, but also what you can do to protect your brain. So let's begin with a class of drugs that many people take daily without a second thought, anticholinergics. Anticholinergic medications work by blocking a key brain chemical called acetylcholine, which is essential for learning and memory. These drugs are often used for allergies, urinary incontinence, motion sickness, and even sleep problems. But research published in JAMA Internal Medicine found a significant link between long-term use of anticholinergic medications and a higher risk of developing dementia, especially in adults over 65. Some well-known anticholinergic drugs include Benadryl, which is diphenhydramine, oxybutynin for bladder issues, and even some older antidepressants like amitriptyline. If you're taking any of these, especially long-term or at high doses, it's time to consider alternatives. Talk to your doctor about switching to non-anticholinergic options or using lifestyle strategies instead. Next up are benzodiazepines. Medications like diazepam, also known as Valium, Lorazepam, which is Ativan and Alprazolam, or Xanax. These are commonly prescribed for anxiety, insomnia, and panic attacks. While they can offer short-term relief, long-term use can slow down your brain's activity and contribute to memory loss and confusion. Multiple studies, including those published in the British Medical Journal, have reported that prolonged use of benzodiazepines can increase the risk of Alzheimer's disease. The older the user and the longer the use, the greater the danger. The solution? Never stop these meds abruptly but talk to your doctor about tapering them off slowly and exploring natural anxiety remedies like magnesium, L-theanine, deep breathing exercises, or therapy. The third on our list is surprisingly common and often underestimated sleep aids. Medications like Zolpidem, which you might know as Ambien, are widely used to treat insomnia, but they don't offer restorative sleep the way natural sleep does. Instead, they sedate your brain, interrupting critical memory-forming sleep cycles like REM. Over time, this artificial sedation can cause disorientation, confusion, and cognitive decline. In seniors, the risk is even greater as these drugs can increase the chances of falls and memory loss. If you're struggling with sleep, try non-drug methods such as limiting screen time before bed, practicing guided relaxation, using herbal teas like chamomile or valerian root, or supplementing with melatonin under supervision. Sleep is vital, but how you achieve it matters even more. Number four is a category many people think of as outdated, but is still used today, tricyclic antidepressants. These include medications like amitriptyline and nortriptyline, which are used not just for depression, but also for chronic pain, migraines, and even bladder issues. However, they are strongly anticholinergic, which, as we've learned, poses a big threat to memory and cognition. Newer antidepressants like SSRIs are generally safer for long-term use in older adults. So, if you've been Prescribed a tricyclic, ask your doctor whether a newer medication or even a holistic therapy like exercise, light therapy, or cognitive behavioral therapy could be more brain friendly and effective. Now let's talk about antipsychotic medications like haloperidol, risperidone, and quetiapine. While these are primarily used for serious psychiatric disorders like schizophrenia or bipolar disorder, they're sometimes inappropriately prescribed to elderly patients with dementia related agitation. Ironically, while meant to control dementia symptoms, these drugs can worsen cognitive decline and even increase the risk of early death. They work by interfering with dopamine, a neurotransmitter involved in thinking, motivation, and memory. If your loved one is on an antipsychotic and doesn't have a diagnosed psychiatric disorder, it's crucial to speak with their healthcare provider. In many cases, environmental and behavioral interventions can be just as effective without the harmful side effects. As we reach the halfway mark of our list, take a moment to reflect. 
How many of these medications sound familiar? How many have you or someone in your family used without questioning the long-term consequences? The truth is, these medications are often necessary and even life-saving in short-term or emergency situations. But when used daily or for years, especially in people over 60, the risks can outweigh the benefits. The good news is you're not helpless. With the right knowledge, you can take back control of your brain health. Now, we uncovered five widely used medications, like anticholinergics, benzodiazepines, and certain sleep aids that may quietly impair your memory and increase your risk of dementia over time. These are medications people rely on for everyday issues like allergies, anxiety, and insomnia, yet they carry silent cognitive costs. But we're not done, because in this second part, we're exposing five more medications that may be eroding your brain health from the inside, even if they seem harmless or necessary. Some of these are drugs millions take every single day for acid reflux, blood pressure, cholesterol, and nerve pain. But remember, knowledge is power. Once you know the risks, you can take informed steps to protect your memory, your independence, and your life. Let's begin with a category that may surprise you, proton pump inhibitors, or PPIs. These are drugs like omeprazole, esomeprazole, and lansoprazole, commonly used to treat heartburn and acid reflux. You may even be taking one right now after a heavy meal. They work by reducing stomach acid, but long-term use has been linked to a higher risk of dementia. Why? Because they reduce the absorption of key nutrients like vitamin B12 and magnesium, both of which are essential for optimal brain function. One study published in JAMA Neurology found that seniors who used PPIs regularly were at significantly higher risk of developing dementia compared to those who didn't. If you suffer from acid reflux, try natural approaches first, such as eating smaller meals, avoiding late night snacking, drinking aloe vera juice, or consuming digestive herbs like fennel. Save PPIs for short-term or acute relief under medical guidance, not long-term daily use. Next, we have antihistamines, especially first-generation ones like chlorpheniramine and hydroxyzine. These are older allergy medications that often cause drowsiness, and that drowsiness comes at a cost. They, too, have strong anticholinergic effects, blocking acetylcholine in the brain and disrupting memory and attention. They are often hidden in combination medications for colds and flu, which means many people take them without even realizing it. If you're over 60 and rely on these drugs during allergy season or for sleep, consider switching to second-generation antihistamines like loratadine, also known as claritin, or fexofenadine, also called Allegra, which don't cross the blood-brain barrier as easily and are much gentler on your cognitive system. Now, let's turn to a controversial one, statins, the cholesterol-lowering drugs like Adervastatin, also called Lipitor Simvastatin, known as Zocor and Rosuvastatin, or Crestor. While some studies show they may protect brain health by improving blood flow, others show potential links between statin use and memory loss, especially in older adults. The United States FDA even added a warning to statin labels in 2012 about possible confusion and memory issues. Though these symptoms are usually reversible, they're still deeply concerning. Statins may interfere with the brain's ability to synthesize cholesterol, which is essential for cell membranes and neurotransmitter function. If you or a loved one is experiencing brain fog or forgetfulness after starting a statin, don't panic, but do talk to your doctor. Sometimes the dosage can be adjusted or a different statin can be tried. Even better, combine medication with lifestyle changes, like exercise, a diet rich in omega-3s, and cholesterol-lowering foods like oats, beans, and flax seeds. The next category is anticonvulsants, such as phenytoin, also known as dilantin, carbamazepine, or tegretol, and even gabapentin, which goes by neurontin and is increasingly used for nerve pain and anxiety. These medications work by calming abnormal electrical activity in the brain, but that calming effect can go too far. In some individuals, especially older adults, anticonvulsants can slow overall brain function, causing fatigue, memory loss, and mental dullness. 
Seniors who take these medications for chronic pain or mood stabilization may not realize that their foggy thinking is a side effect of the drug itself. If you feel slower mentally or find it harder to focus since starting one of these meds, consider speaking to your healthcare provider about tapering the dose or exploring alternatives like mindfulness-based stress reduction, physical therapy, or anti-inflammatory diets that target the root of chronic nerve issues. And finally, we have beta blockers like metaprolol, atenolol, and propranolol. These drugs are typically prescribed for high blood pressure, heart rhythm issues, and even anxiety. They work by reducing the workload on the heart, but some also cross into the brain and affect neurotransmitters. The result? In some people, especially older adults, beta blockers can cause fatigue, mood changes, and even symptoms resembling early dementia. This isn't a side effect everyone experiences, but if you notice reduced mental clarity, slower thinking, or low energy after starting a beta blocker, you may want to explore alternative blood pressure medications or non-drug interventions, like the DASH diet, increased potassium intake, or stress reduction techniques. Now that we've explored all 10 medications, what can you do next? First and foremost, don't abruptly stop any medication you're currently taking. This can be dangerous, especially for drugs affecting the heart, brain, or central nervous system. Instead, take the smarter, safer path. Start a conversation with your doctor. Review all the medications and supplements you're taking. Ask, are any of these known to affect memory or cognition? Discuss whether alternatives are available and whether lifestyle changes could allow for lower doses or complete elimination of certain drugs. You may be surprised to find that some medications were never meant to be used long term or that you've simply outgrown the need for them. Also, strengthen your brain from the inside out. Focus on foods that support cognitive function like blueberries, walnuts, green leafy vegetables, and wild-caught fish. Stay physically active, socially engaged, and mentally stimulated. Get restful sleep, manage blood sugar, and protect your brain from silent killers like chronic inflammation and nutrient deficiencies. And most importantly, stay informed. The more you understand about your health, the more control you have over your future. So, let me ask you this. How many of these medications are in your cabinet right now? Did you learn something today that you didn't know before? If so, please hit the like button to help this video reach more people. Subscribe to our channel if you want more life-saving content like this. And share this video with friends or family who take daily medications. You might just save someone's memory or even their life. Until next time, stay sharp, stay informed, and remember, your brain is your most powerful asset. Don't let it slip away silently.